they are making a difference on 938 Live. We're taking a closer look at the social workers in Singapore via the 15th Annual Outstanding Social Worker Award and Promising Social Worker Award, which was held in appreciation of the professional contributions by social workers to the social service, healthcare and community sectors. And today I talked to Lee Sin Yen. She's the winner of the Promising Social Worker Award 2014 and an assistant senior social worker at Ang Mo Kyo Family Services Centre Community Services. Uh, so our core work here is actually caseworker and counselling services. So we meet families, uh, children, and also a range of uh, cases from children all the way to elderly. And we see them over for a variety of issues like financial issues, child behaviour, marital, and as well as higher risk cases like abuse, domestic violence. And besides uh, caseworker and counselling, uh, we also do programs to complement the caseworker and counselling services. For example, some programs that we do are children's programs. So we have our weekly individual coaching for mm-hmm. children who are weak academically. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then we have parenting workshops and we also have projects to help low income women to transit out to uh, employment. Which of these programs do you most feel for, Sinyin? Mm, it's the one that I was involved in, which is to provide a flexible platform for the women from low income families to work uh, and earn supplementary income through baking mm. and also using that to equip them with skills to prepare them to transit out to part-time work gradually. Why is this program important to you? We started it uh, when we realised that we found there was a group of women from the low-income families that we were working with who had a lot of difficulties finding part-time employment outside. It was because they couldn't find a right match, a suitable part-time job that allowed them to balance taking care of their children, which the caregiving needs, uh, mm-hmm. which was one of their priorities, as well as earning some supplementary income. Yeah, so that's where we tried to start uh, this project where we provided them this platform where they can come in on flexible hours to work and then we also provide some child-minding support and we did some group work workshops to build up their confidence in their personal skills so that you know they will be more ready to go out to work. Any particular experience from the baking program that really inspired you? We started operating from festive seasons, meaning just three months a year. Just the Chinese New Year, uh, Valentine's Day, and Christmas period. Mm. Yeah, so during our first festive season, you know, the income, the revenue that came in still wasn't that good. But during the second festive season, the women managed to actually sell a lot of their products on their own mm. because we also trained them in marketing skills. Right. So when we have booths outside, we actually coach them to sell their own products. And there was this single mother who has two young children with her. She actually received an allowance of uh, slightly over a thousand you know, after the uh, New Year season. And upon receiving this salary, she actually broke down to tears. You know, and she couldn't even count her money. And you know, we were really taken aback. Like, you know, at how come that was the reaction from her? And she shared with us that it was the very first time that she managed to earn this amount uh, on her own effort. Yeah, she's someone who's illiterate. You know, she can't speak. She can't write. You know, and uh, you know, having to go through multiple challenges as a single mother, uh, she also felt very discouraged and wasn't expecting herself to be capable of uh, earning this amount through selling her product. Yeah, she used to be a part-time cleaner, earning about two to three hundred. And there was another case where a mother of three children. She also managed to give her children a better quality of life. She shared that you know, with the amount of uh, allowance, it was her very first time that she managed to afford to have a reunion dinner at home mm. with three of her children after starting her family for like 16 years. Yeah, and she was able to buy some toys for her children because her children have been growing up using secondhand clothes and toys. Now, Sen Yen, you've been doing this for four years now as a social worker and you've received the Promising Social Worker Award. Now, I just want to find out, do you see yourself uh, doing this for life? I I definitely see myself doing this for the next at least 20 to 30 years down the road because it's something that I'm really passionate about in wanting to see how I can provide more opportunities for uh, the less privileged in the society. Are there any areas in the profession that you find quite daunting, though, looking at your future? Mm, I think more of the aging population that is coming up and also the widening income gap, which you know, I think there should be more platforms where 
we can create more platforms for the low-income families to be joining the workforce. Probably, you know, a more flexible platform than what is already available in part-time work because they, they still find part-time work not flexible enough for them to manage caregiving needs at home and at the same time to bring back income for their children. You're fairly young yourself. I'm curious, yes. why why would your peers not join the field and why did you choose to join the field? There are still a lot of misconceptions on what is social work. So a lot of times it's people see it as a form of voluntary work. But actually, we are paid professionals and you know, we actually need to have a very specialised skill set and knowledge. This is usually obtained through obtaining a bachelor's degree and that's the minimum educational qualifications that we need to have to be able to do social work in Singapore. So it's actually different from voluntary work which is often uh, perceived to be by the public. Uh. And secondly, I think there's also uh, the misconception that you know uh, there's a lot of, it's very tough work having to always listen to problems of <laughs> the uh, difficult problems uh, in the, from the society but uh, we also work as a team back at our, our workplace mm-hmm. so usually when there are difficult situations to manage we usually uh, have a platform to discuss it with our superiors and our teammates and see how we can better manage it. And that was Lee Sin Yen. She's the Assistant Senior Social Worker at Ang Mo Kyo Family Service Centre Community Services and winner of the Promising Social Worker Award 2014. This has been They Are Making a Difference. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Daphne Lim. They Are Making a Difference on 938 Live.